Stadium on Woody Hayes Drive in Columbus. And now it's time for the point talk. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. State is kicking off first and we're ready to get this game underway he kicks it off and he got all of that one he's to the 20 they'll bring him down at the 24 yard line so here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today gets to about the 27 yard line It's second and seven. Ball on the 27-yard line. He's tackled around the 23-yard line. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Complete, and he's out of bounds. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Fires it out. And he's stopped behind the line. Taken back three yards. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 37. down after a nice run up the middle. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Dumps it out left to the running back. Tackle at the 43-yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. First and 10, ball on the 43. Fires out to his wideout, and they make the stop at the 41. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's tackled around the 42-yard line. When this guy gets his arms around a ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at the 30-yard line. That's the third time they've converted on third down on this drive. When you can stay on the field in these kind of situations, you're doing something right. This is the 10th play of this drive. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. From the 27-yard line, it's second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Tackle made around the 21-yard line.
We're at the 12th play of the drive. They can't hear a thing down there. He's taken down around the 14-yard line. Well, it was third down, so they obviously had to get to the sticks, and they did just that with this little pass play. From the 14-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down around the six-yard line. Here's play number 14 of this drive. Singleton, again, that's a great tackle at the four. Well, that's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at it. Their hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want it. And down he goes around the seven-yard line. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. From the seven-yard line, second down. It's recovered. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover buck. They need to hold on to the football. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Nice run there. Henderson gained seven yards on that play. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's taken down around the 28-yard line. Lost the ball, fumble, they fall on it. I'll tell you, when a guy as big as this lineman gets his paws on a loose ball, you can pretty much forget about it. You're not getting the ball back from him. Well, I'm sure the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. And he tackles him hard at the 17. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Ball on the 17-yard line. They're back in the red zone where they have really struggled lately. Makes it to the 15-yard line. The crowd really making it difficult. Here's the pass, broken up. It seems like he might have floated that pass just a little bit too much because the defender was able to get his hand in there and swipe it away. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Penn State is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and he got it. Thompson looks ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 22. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. 
Wants to throw outside. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. From their own 35 yard line, it's first down. Gets to about the 37 yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 41's coming, 41's a mic. Ready, black, hot. Rose left, the running back's got it. Knocked out of bounds at the 37. From their own 37 yard line, third down. They come out in a five wide set. Nearly intercepted. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tackle at the 27. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. Penn State is up by three. There's a play fake. Has all day to throw. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45. He fights forward to about the 43. Gets to about the 41 yard line. Third down and they need to get it down to the 35. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Makes the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Loss of a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. The Nittany Lions are looking downright scary on defense so far, Herbie. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Going long. And it's caught to the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Ohio State. And he adds the extra point. Lewis gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 25-yard line. 
Ohio State's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with a kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Fakes to the back. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Tosses it out. Good outside run there. Gaining four yards. Third down. Oh, he had a pitcher's duel in that low scoring first quarter. Ohio State leads it 7 3. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. He's hit and taken down. Fires out to his receiver. He picks up a yard on the play. There was really just nowhere for the wide receiver to go after he made the catch. Great coverage on the play. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Ohio State is up by four. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle at about the 31. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He steps out at the 35-yard line. So they complete that for about four yards, and they'll pick up a first down. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. And he's level at the 43. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They'll spread the field with five wide. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Fights forward to about the 49. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 49-yard line. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. throws it away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From the 43-yard line, second down. Going for it all to the end zone. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Ohio State holds a four-point lead. Uh -huh. 
Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Saunders is back deep to return the punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. down around the 22 yard line it's second down eight to go ball on the 22 yard line complete he's got room and they make the stop at the 46 that makes it first and ten from their own 46-yard line. First down. He's taken down at the 47. tackled at the 43-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 43. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. Decent run here, right side. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. They'll bring him down at the 24. This is the eighth play of this drive. with room to work. About a five-yard pickup on the old play-action pass. That brings him second and five. From the 19-yard line, it's second down. He's got the corner. Tackle made at the 18-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Get to that quickly. And down he goes at the 9. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He makes it to the nine. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Touchdown, Nittany Lions.
So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. So a 12-play, 80-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Penn State is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's pushed out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Second and, six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 29. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Receivers got the first down, and he's taken down right around the 42-yard line. We've got a first and 10, ball on their own 42. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. They come out on an empty backfield. And now he's got room to run. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Slings it. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. There's a strike complete. He's down. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Tackles him hard at the 30-yard line. Williams comes away with about two yards and a little draw play. He goes out of bounds at the 27-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Quick pass. Tackle at the 10. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 10-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Henderson gets about four yards on the counter play. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Throws it out right to the running back. Touchdown, Bucks! He 
makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm. He did a good job of picking apart the defense. Quick throw. Brought down around the 34-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Go. Five wide. That's a great tackle at the 39. Pass complete there for about five yards and a first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump off pass that was good enough for a first down. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. At that time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened there. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. There are a lot of ways to describe that first half, David. I, I think the best is, let me tell you, these offenses are just putting up video game numbers. But we talk about it week in and week out, and that seems to be a term that we like to use, and it's just high execution, doing everything that you want to do, just like you sitting there pushing buttons on a control. That's how easy it seemed. It didn't seem like there was 90,000 fans in the crowd. It seemed like it was just you at home, sitting on the couch, chilling, pressing the circle button, using the, using the stiff arm, using the ball hawk. Everything just seemed to go perfectly. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, Got to go get it either way. Brandon Kirk is there to deliver. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Ohio State is up four. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. From their own 38 yard line, first down. Makes it out to about the 46. And he is drilled at the 49. their own 49 yard line first down caught and that's a first down and they make the stop right around the 34 First and 10, ball on the 34-yard line. He gets out to about the 32-yard line.
caught out in the open. And he hits him hard at the 21. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21. Ohio State is up by four. He makes it to the 18-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Nice play to set up first and goal. First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. They're packed in tight on the line. Touchdown, Buckeyes! The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. Offensive line and defensive line hooked up there, and the offensive line won the battle. And he hits the PAT. Lewis looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 25-yard line. Nice run there. Singleton picks up about seven yards on the halfback counter play. Third down. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. He's wrapped up for the sack. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. Thompson is waiting for the snap. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's taken down at the 48. He showed a good burst there. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Makes the grab and steps out right away. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down at about the 27-yard line. Takes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 26 yard line. Fires 
quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. He's got it out to his tight end, and he's tackled at the eight-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He gets rid of this one. Almost picked off. And this is the eighth play of the drive. That makes it third and goal. And he hauls it in. Touchdown, Ohio State. And he converts the extra point. An eight-play, 52-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. The score now, 28-10. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Buckeyes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He might have a chance. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. First and ten. Ball on their own 36. Mike 35, Mike 35. Out of bounds around the 46 yard line. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. He's got it with room to run. To the 20. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. I think this offense right now has a ton of confidence because their offense seems to be in sync. Anytime you can run the football and mix in play-action pass, it puts a lot of pressure on the defense. And right now, well, you can almost feel this offense's confidence growing as we saw in that last play. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. The 10. And down he goes at the four yard line. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, and it ain't over yet. And he tacks on the extra point. Penn State kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ohio State's showing that they are not going to be denied here in this third quarter. Well, they've completely dominated the second half, and they have taken control of this game, and I don't think they're going to let go of it. 
And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. You know, this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Just throws this one away. Gets it out quickly. He's tackled at the 40 yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 40. Caught open field. Steps out of bounds around the 41 yard line. That makes it second and ten. Strike to his receiver, no good. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. Tate was the intended receiver on that pass. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. Booming kick. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. So it's second down now. and They need about four yards to pick up the first. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Thompson to punt. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Anderson gets three yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 38 yard line, second down. That's a great tackle at the 38. It and that's all. So the defense does their job well on that series. Saunders is back awaiting the punt. He 
gets hit out of bounds at the 30. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Singleton gets about four yards on the play. That makes it seven and six. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 28-17, Buckeye. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. They'll bring him down at the 32. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the 32. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. He's in trouble, and they got him. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. Whoa, he just took a licking. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle right around the 48-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 48. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. complete. He's hammered. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Throws falling back and got his man. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Looks left, finding his tailback. And they make the stop around the 26-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Brought down right around the 24-yard line. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he shoved out of bounds at the 24. Here's the eighth play of the series. That makes it second and ten. He's out of bounds around the 19-yard line. 
And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Ohio State is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. There's a play fake. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He steps out right around the 30. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. He's under pressure, and he is drilled at the 28. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. And that'll be three and out. Thompson is waiting for the snap. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Now, what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, this is really just one of those games where it's all coming together. He's making the right reads. He's delivering the football in rhythm. And the most important thing is he's playing with confidence. And the thing that's really helped him here is his decision-making continues to be consistent. It's allowing this offense to move the ball down the field and put the ball into the end zone. And the rest of the team has backed up the good performance in the friendly confines of their home stadium. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Slings it. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. Second down and five. Ball on their own 46. Dumps it out left to the running back. Not a lot on that one. This was just a little dump off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Level at the 41. Knocked out of bounds. The 39 yard line. That's good for a of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From the 39 yard line, it's second down. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And 
Japanese tackle at the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, it's first down. Got a man, watch out here. And they push him out at the 12-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Decent run up the gut. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Just under three to go in regulation. down around the four yard line a one yard gain by the halfback he was playing the run all the way and was able to stop him quickly good job by that senior safety touchdown Buckeyes He splits the uprights with the extra point. Lewis ready to kick. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Five wide. He throws right. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 24. Quick pass, and he's hit immediately. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Gets it out in a hurry. Just under two to go in the game. Throws out to the back end. He can't hold on to it. From the 25-yard line, second down. And he hits him hard at the 36. to the 15. And he's going to be sacked. Outstanding job there by the linebacker to find his way through on the blitz.
fourth and long here after the sack. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. I'm sure that touchdown in their last possession's given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. Yeah, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. So it's second down and about two yards to go. goes at the 41-yard line. This one's in the books. The Buckeyes get the win. 38-17. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? It was a good game, but I'm sure there's a little disappointment down there. Penn State probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.